Yo, what's up everyone? Today I have a treat of a video for you. We're in Boulder, Colorado right now. It's not ultra sunny. It's a little bit of a gloomy day, but I kind of like these kind of days. Lauren, not so much. Um, I like them. So in the first half of this video, I'm gonna take you guys to one of the best menswear shops in all of the state of Colorado, Canoe Club. I have an interview with the owner, Timothy Grindle, which should be super fun. I'm gonna showcase some things, pick up some things. And then in the second half of this video, I'm actually gonna do a pickups video showcasing all the items I've received, purchased, gotten from June and July. So I'm really excited about that. All right, let's go to Canoe Club, why don't we, huh? So for those who don't know Canoe Club, it's actually a fantastic retailer Ooh, that carries the likes of, you know, Visvum, Capital, Engineered Garments, Junior Watanabe, all of these kind of fantastic brands that you don't typically see in Colorado that you see more in like New York and California, but it's here in Colorado. So that's what makes it super dope. I'm excited to share it with you guys. And let's do a little Lauren fit check. Lauren, show us the, show us the fit, bro. Wait, step back a little bit. Step back, step back further. Okay, let's see, hold on. Okay, with the docks. And you guys saw my fit, so we on our way. So for those who've never been to Colorado, we're actually on Pearl Street right now. Pearl Street is just one of the kind of most, I don't, how, would I just, how would I describe it, Lauren? The most lively street in Boulder, so. The most lively street in Boulder, like right? the main street. The main street, right? So, uh, Canoe Club is over there, right? Yeah. So like I said, they have a ton of amazing brands. You have Hinder Scheme, Universal Works, Needles, Capital, obviously is super popular right now. Uh, Comte des Garçons, Visvum, you know, one of my favorites, New Balance, you know me. I love me some New Balances. <laughs> and also Engineered Garments, and they have some vintage Levi stuff too, so that's really cool. Lauren with some Hinder Scheme. Slip-ons. <laughs> <laughs> I had a guy call me and he's like, what's your name? Ian? Uh, and I said, Ian? He said, how do you spell that? E-I-O-N? And I was like, what? <laughs> I had never heard that before in my life. How, how do you spell that? Uh, I-A-N. Yeah, I was about to yeah, say like, 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 is there another way to spell it? Yeah, yeah there's, no, there's, got it. there's no other way to spell it. Actually, a girl, in my, a girl in my high school was named Ian. I-E-A-N. Hmm. Kind of weird. We're talking to my man Ian here. He was, we were just chopping it up a little bit. So Ian, man, how long have you been working at the shop, bro? Um, I'm the newest hire, six months now. So, yeah. not long, but good amount of time. And what made you, like, what made you kind of want to be at Canoe Club? You kind of were telling me a little bit about that. Like, yeah, I mean, I've, I've been a customer here for the past couple of years, and, um, you know, I got a call one day from the guys here. Um, we've always, you know, connected well, been homies, so they said they needed a spot filled, and I was more than happy to come and help. No doubt, no yeah. doubt. I love it. Let's get a little fit check, bro, because the fit, it, the sweater, and the, and the jeans are incredible. Right, the man's so got yeah. the capital. Capital, distressed sweater up yeah. here. Nice lady white tee under there for comfort. And then I have these, like, Levi's vintage clothing. Let me, let me pull it around. Let me pull it yeah, around. We got to see. the light, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. These are some uh, LVC, like, the sp I don't know. I call them the spider denim. Spider denim. They got all this, like, webbing down here. And then they're super distressed on the bottoms. You know, I've been tearing it up. And then I have these really beat up Midnight Studio Converse, the oh, Inside Out guys. Bro, these are incredible. And man. I mean, I had these since they came out, so they're obviously looking a little uh, trashed. But they're looking a little worn in, but that's the beauty of them, right? But yeah, like, yeah, the be... fit today is a little, you know, we're going for the grunge look, so. <laughs> and then yeah, got this nice it. wool beanie up top. I love it, man. This is, I love, in Denver, there, there are people like this, right? But I think it's few and far between is what it is. So a lot of times, like, being able to be in shops, be in places like this, and chop it up with mans right here is like, I mean, it's all you can ask for, right? Like people within similar interests, people within similar. Yeah. Um, 
and that's yeah, you know that's what we do here too that's like the community we're trying to create here in boulder is a place where people can come and like not only shop but like talk to us and chop it up about the brands that they like and uh you know just a place to kick it what's your favorite brand in here um i mean i'm always a big capital fan capital but yeah. i think my favorite brand that i discovered here before i started working and you know coming here yeah was um beams plus out yeah. of japan beams um, is really great they just do classic americana style it's just like it's awesome um i own a lot of pieces by them so. yeah definitely definitely i, I love i love beams. i haven't purchased any beams yet but i've some of their collections are, are top notch i just man. think that they're very consistent as yeah well. yeah have you ever been to Japan? No, I no. need to go. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that Lauren's shaking her head like, yeah, I need to go to Japan. Cause yeah. no, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, Japan is a. I mean, there's probably so much good clothing, good shit out there. I mean, it's just. And then yeah, they, like to. I'm sure if we walk in the thrift store in Japan, the stuff that they're getting rid of is stuff that we are like, oh my god. Here, like selling at Canoe Club, like this is what we need in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> but so one of the things that I'm getting a lot more into is different magazines books about design about fashion um they have a ton here like fudge is a really really popular publication and magazine that i've seen all over i've never actually dabbled in it and, and take taken a read um but you know you have some really really interesting brand stuff and you just kind of get to see the different design languages of different designers and studios, which is really, really cool in my opinion. And you got that, you know, Japanese styling where you read it from, read it from right to left, you know what I'm saying? So, um, really, really cool stuff. So I scroll by Popeye, you guys know, I know somebody knows about Popeye who watches my channel. Unbelievable magazine, unbelievable kind of art and showcasing within the magazine. Um, like I said, I've only really seen pictures online. I'm not like expert of all experts, but I really am interested in kind of delving more into it. It'd be great if I could also understand a little bit of language too. I mean, it would be great if I knew <laughs> everything, but like obviously it's the visual aspect of it as well. And, you know, I'm pretty sure you could probably put this up to like your phone and Google Translate and they could translate it for you, so. Somebody call Mark Boulier for me. One of my favorite sections, of course, is gonna be footwear and sneakers, as you guys know. Let's check it out. So up here, you have all the Hindu scheme leather silhouettes. They're really incredible. It's the it's the ability to recreate with quality materials. That's really impressive. And then you have the Visvum stuff, which if you know about Visvum and the craftsmanship, I mean, come on. Um, really great stuff and you know some of my favorite are always going to be the mbs these are the 327s absolutely beautiful we have the watanabe collaboration also really really cool this one, oops. this one doesn't get as much press or as love as some of the other silhouettes like like those right there the 992s but i mean it has to be well done right so and then you have the 992s, 995s, uh, 2002Rs, which I don't have a pair of.
So I'm sitting down with the man, the myth, the legend, as I just jokingly said, Timothy Grindle. But man, Timothy, you know, what your background is and, and things like that. Yeah. So my name is Timothy Grindle. I'm the, we have loose titles here, but I'm like the lead buyer and store director here at Canoe Club. Yeah. Uh, I've been here for, since we opened, so about almost five years now. Um, I have worked in fashion my whole life. Prior to this, I worked at a store in Chicago buying and did some wholesale work for another brand in Chicago. Not a not a long resume. It's just yeah. it's, but it's all around buying and fashion. And yeah, I guess I so. love the fact that it's like conversation and kind of chopping it up based. Like, yeah, it's a relationship based. Of course, and, yeah. You know that's kind of how I feel when I come into the shop. I just just talking to Ian and yeah. all the other people who are here chopping up with you guys. You can really tell that there's a community here and that's yeah. what's really, really special. It's always been very community based with Canoe Club. It's always been about, you know, I've always kind of likened this to like, you know, comic book shop, music instrument shop. Yeah, these places where that. there's like a little bit of like, there's that gatekeeping feel, but yeah. we didn't want it to feel like a place where you couldn't come in and just talk shop. Cause right, a lot of this right. comes around like, you know, this is very niche stuff. Yeah, yeah. Guys are looking for communities to talk about this stuff. Cause otherwise you're just it's looking just at it on your computer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Unless you're yeah. in a forum or something yeah. like that. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how someone's gonna be watching this video and has never heard of Canoe Club, mm -hmm. doesn't know anything about, you know, maybe doesn't have all the insight for all the different designers and brands that you carry. If you're talking to someone who is a blank slate, how would you describe Canoe Club? Yeah, Canoe Club is, um, what's a, I mean, at base level, it's a multi-brand retailer. What we try to specialize in is brands that, you know, have a story, have provenance, are doing something interesting within the, you know, in the fashion space. Yeah. It's a space for um, brands that have a story to tell and we're, yeah. we want to be the, the voices for uh, people doing cool things. Yeah. What goes into kind of the thought process of picking some of the different things? Sure, I guess at a zoomed out level, it would look like Bob and I were playing a store for, you know, off and on kind of like loosely for a little while, just yeah. kind of like spitballing what it could be. So we had this like, when we first started meeting more seriously about what brands we were going to bring in, that, that, that was a big laundry list because we are both really big. There's a lot of decisions. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're really into clothes. There's so a there lot was of a, choices. Yeah, there was a, there's a lot of brands and there's yeah. new ones all the time. And, yeah. and But we had this kind of like laundry list that we wanted to start with. And you know, it takes a long time to build a brand and make sure, um, you know, different brands feel comfortable to, you know, like you're doing the right things to represent them correctly. Totally. So we had, to, we had to chop a lot of that wood. There was a couple like no brainers right away that were like capital engineered garments. Yeah. Levi's Vintage Clothing, yep. um, some of these brands that we I'd already worked with in the past and um, we had great relationships with and wanted to bring here. Yeah. And then there were brands like um, Visvum and Marnie and uh, uh, I think Acum de Garcon, some of these 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 bigger brands that we wanted to we, we really cared about and wanted to bring in. Yeah. But obviously they're very selective with the retailers, so we had to you know chop the wood to make sure that we were you know ready to represent them yeah. really well and, and have a customer base for them. Yeah. So and we want to have that as well. So we try to make sure there's always that, that balance too. So you're not gonna like throw someone off of like you know I'm not ready for capital maybe yet. Yeah, um, right. But right. I but I but I get it and I want to be involved and right. I want to find my lane yeah. within it. So we try to have a a little something for everyone Definitely. as long as it still falls under like you know the scope the of right what, yeah, exactly so you also have a you know in-store canoe club brand am i not mistaken talk yeah. to us about that decision was that yeah something you started initially was it something that you kind of worked towards talk to me about that yeah i mean that some of it came along we always figured we would work towards something like that, but I think you have to do the work to build your brand first. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to make sure that we were developing our own point of view and, um, and and representing our current brands well before we ever delved into that. And that's actually, you know, we've just dipped a toe so far with a couple of these different collaborations and workshops really? and stuff, which is all yeah. stuff that we want to continue to do, yeah. um, especially, you know, with the collaborations that we do um, seasonally with Orslo and with Ladyway, yeah. you know, big partners of ours. Yeah. We want to continue to do all of that, but we also have been developing, we've done a little bit of merch and we were hesitant because I didn't want it to just be something that said canoe club I wanted it to fit like you know the stuff that we want you know we yeah. wanted to, we wanted to wear it outside of it just saying canoe club exactly, on it. so we, you know exactly. we sourced it so it could have distressing and garment dyeing and yeah. all these cool features that the other brands have yeah, and yeah. not just be a piece of merchandise totally, totally, so totally. we worked through that and that went really well and now we're actually in talks um, to start like a version of private label to try to like fill some like gaps that we see in the market yeah. where, you know, I got a lot of customers asking for X, Y, or Z, and we want to be able to like try to fill those so like, um, yeah. ourselves. So we've, yeah. we've started that process as well. That makes um, One of the last questions, or last couple questions I want to ask sure, you sure. is, and we'll make sure to get the B-roll shot because the man's fit is, 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 is cool, it's interesting, it's simple today, it's good. Yeah. How would you describe your style, you know, for people who 
Yeah, and then, a little bit of a moving target and that the thing I like about fashion is that it changes. So I like that maybe next year I'm not gonna be into the stuff that I'm into now. Mm -hmm. I would say the constants for me is I grew up in um, a community of, uh, um, I was I grew up playing music, mm -hmm. so and it was a pre predominantly like punk and hardcore, mm -hmm. and you know and then I played in a lot of other like rock adjacent br uh, bands over time. So yeah. there's always something I think that I have like a connection to like yeah. a lot of that like you know yeah. the style of like you know Jesus and Mary Chain or yeah, My Bloody Valentine yeah, yeah, and stuff like yeah. some of that like '90s like uh, grungy stuff. I always still gravitate towards gravitate things to like that. Yeah, I love it. Um, I love it. But I also I you know I I, I've, I grew up really caring about the lifestyle of, uh, that Ralph Lauren built as well as, um, you know, early Celine and things like that. So mm -hmm. I also really care about all this, like, really, like, overtly fancy things yeah. and, and, and minimalism as, as it pertains to, like, elegance in fashion. So mm -hmm. it, it's hard. I think there's a... I, I land somewhere in the middle on any given day. Will be a uh, video on the indigo guy. Yeah, we just did a video. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is, this one's really straightforward. Honestly, okay. that 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 because it's just you put it in the bath and then you wait and then you skim it. Right, and right. Then you can use it right away. Right. Can, like, include everything all in one. Right, right. When you do the like chemical thing, it's yeah. just a. Uh, I've never really played with it yet, so I just kind of yeah. want to just play this, around. This is like with the it. perfect thing to do, like to start. And then the other oh, one's like, yeah. a, because it already. <laughs> 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 I can see the bottle in my head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The new club was fun. I think we're gonna show you guys a little bit more of Boulder before I head back. Um, especially if you've never been here, if you've never shopped here. Uh, hungry. So hungry. Got some good stuff. Wait, show them the stuff we got. Got some goodies. So, yeah. <laughs> absolutely love these sorts of videos. What did you guys think of Canoe Club? I would say that it's probably one of two of the best menswear stores, fashion stores in Colorado. I had a super fun time actually visiting, interviewing Timothy, talking to Ian, all those things like guys. These are the videos that I just want to continue to bring you guys and we're not even done. We still have a ton of pickups to look over. <laughs> Also, Timothy and I really connected, so in the future, I feel like there will be more content related to Canoe Club, being that I'm a Colorado native, so that'll be in the works. So now let's get into the pickups portion of the video. Maybe you skipped ahead to this point in the video. Hello, my name is Drew, what it do? Um, and in today's video, we have a ton of stuff from Canoe Club stuff to Edward Joyner stuff, some really, really dope UK brands that I'm super excited to share with you guys. New sneakers, and as you can see, it's a New Balance box, so you know how much I love my New Balances. And then we have a ton of just different smaller brands and different things that I had to pick up and had to show you guys in the last two months, man. Yeah, I have to mention we have some vintage Levi's, or not vintage Levi's, but we have some Levi's 501 stuff, and we have some sustainable products as well. So this is gonna be a fun, fun time on the channel. I don't know why I said it like that. It's just gonna be a fun time. <laughs> this is a Drew What It Do production. Let's get into it. Everything will be linked down in the description. Let's get it rolling. Well, starting off with my brand, Edward Joyner, we had two drops in the month of both June and July. Starting off with, we had trucker hats that we came out with. And so we have three variants of the trucker. We have a brown, we have a black, and we have a cream. So I'm really happy with how these trucker hats turned out, especially the 
brown and the black colorway especially these are sold out and the idea behind the entire hat i'll tell you guys really quick it says protect your inner matrix there on the front and it says edward joiner and the idea comes from a song i was listening to which has drake and rick ross in it it is lemon pepper freestyle and one of the lines in the song drake says negative thoughts don't even enter my inner matrix right and that kind of struck a chord with me the idea that your matrix your inner matrix your inner self you have to kind of protect it from negativity and negative thoughts. And so I just kind of added to the lyrics of that song and said, protect your inner matrix, which essentially just means protect your mindset, protect your thoughts, protect you, your mentality from negativity and from just anything harmful towards it. And I'm a big, you know, kind of like spiritual or I guess, uh, you know, mindset individual. I love like having the right mindset and, and approaching life with the right mindset. And so this hat is based off of having the right mindset, protecting your inner matrix, protecting yourself from any type of negativity or harm. Um, yeah, I thought it was a, do a cool concept. The hats are constructed of a combination of organic cotton and recycled polyester. Unfortunately, they are all sold out right now. So thank you guys for all the support on this hat right here. Let's move on to what else we have for Edward Joyner. I'm pretty happy with how these hats came out. So for, for the first trucker hats, they're pretty good. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you guys is the world champion tee that we just came out with literally two days ago. And so this tee is an original graphic and it is kind of inspired by my love for 90s and 2000s cartoons as well as my love for the game of basketball. This shirt right here is made up of 100% cotton, made in Canada. Um, I originally was the, I was the original creator of this, excuse me, I designed all of this. And um, I think it's just a really, really fun graphic for the summertime. You gotta have nice summer graphics that are just fun and light and just maybe draw a little attention towards you. And this is one of those graphics for me, right? These came out, like I said, on Friday. So I think the 16th and super fun graphic. I'll give you guys a little insight too. Hold on, let me show you this. So in designing this, one of the things I wanted to do was add like a little, you know, it kind of looks like a Jordan or something like that, right? And so if you look closely, each, uh, the meat, both sides of the sneaker are a little bit dif different. And if you look at the line work that I did, you should be able to see an E and a J from the line work that I did. And it's kind of hidden in there. I haven't really talked about this, but it's hidden in there. I think that's a super dope detail and really made this really fun for me. Everything about this graphic is super fun. So um, hopefully you can see it here. Maybe I'll give you guys a hint. So on this shoe right here, if you look at it, it's focusing on me, focus on the that, yeah. So on this one right here, you can see there's a E. So if you kind of curve this line down and those are the, the lines for the E and then for the J, if you take this, see if I can get this right. If you take this, there's a curved line right there. And then there's another one that curves this way. So that's the J. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. <laughs> These are $40 right now. We have free shipping. This is what it looks like on body. I'm wearing a size large. Yeah, really, really beautiful. These are ultra soft. I mean, made in Canada garments are kind of our go-to for Edward Joiner because of how soft they are. So that's it for the EJ stuff. I have to say thank you for everyone who supported. Like I said, let's move on to some other things that we have. We have a ton of things in this video. I won't be surprised if this video is 30 minutes long on this pace. <laughs> oh man. Also, I would never consider the stuff I do for Edward Joyner merch. I know a lot of YouTubers and things have merch, but I'm trying to create a full-fledged brand with Edward Joyner, and so the things that I create are all designed by my by my mind, right? They're all designed by me, and then my team helps me. Um, and we source all the materials, the garments, all those kind of things. We do it all, so we're not outsourcing any of this. This stuff is all based on your boy's creativity and your boy's ingenuity. So, all right, let's move on to what I picked up at Canoe Club. Let's start with this hat right here with the big C on it. There's a little bit of packaging in there. Let me just throw that over there. That was a bucket. So this is the Canoe Club times Ebbet Field. Let's see if I can get to focus again. This is the Canoe Club times Ebbet Field hat. Um, really, really great detailing on this hat. You have a wool construction on the pretty much the entirety of the hat. The C lettering of this hat is 
actually felt and then you have satin on the bottom of the hat right here you have the you know vintage styled made in usa tag right there and i mean this hat is just bonkers with the quality canoe club obviously is going to bring the quality the the type of items that they carry all are very elevated and so i would not surprise that their own in-house brand collaborated with another really really great um, company to create a really dope product you can never have enough hats i love this hat i like the simplicity of it, it just says c and it has high quality marks and it has leather on the the back strap of it as well which is really really beautiful so yeah i mean you can't complain about a, a really nice hat like this All right, let's take a look at something that I've been waiting to open up for the past few days, man, or not few days, but I've been waiting to open up, and it is the New Balance box right here, baby. Should I, I don't know, should I bring you guys closer? No, I'll just keep you guys far away. So, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, you know how I get about sneakers. You know how I, you know how I get about sneakers. These are just unbelievable. I never had a pair of 992s. These are the New Balance 992s in the black silver colorway. I mean, it feels so good to have a pair of 992s. These are just so dope. <laughs> so in Colorado, you almost never have the opportunity to find any type of 992 or any kind of sneaker typically of this caliber like this. You're not going to find this at your malls or your, your local malls or whatever. You know, only certain retailers are going to get this shoe and Canoe Club was one of them. And so I had to, had to, had to snag these for the local, you know, business. And just because it's local, I don't have to wait on. I didn't just do that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to wait on shipping and whatnot. Let me just put these things down real quick. You don't have to wait on shipping and whatnot. So for these, super excited about them. I mean, new 992s obviously have been in, they've been very popular, right? So I'll make sure to show you guys the B-roll of these on feet. For my sizing, I went with the true size 11 and typically with made in USA pairs, I go with the true size, like the V4s, the 990 V4s that I have and other New Balance models that I have. I just go with my true size. Sometimes people have said that it fits a little bit big for them. So if you're someone who doesn't like maybe tying your shoes very tight, which I always tie my New Balance is pretty tight. I don't like to have a loosey goosey fit. If you don't like that, then maybe go down half a size. But for these, I went true to size. Loving the way these look. Loving, loving, loving the 992s, y'all. I mean, come on, the 992s are just beautiful. I can never get enough of, of a pair of clean, classic New Balance, especially a black pair. I mean, you can, I'm gonna be, be, I'm gonna be wearing these, can I talk? I'm gonna be wearing these for hopefully the next like 10 years. If, if they can make it that long, I'm gonna be impressed. But if they can make it 10 years, I'm gonna be trying to wear these for the next 10 years on my pops vibe. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next items from Canoe Club. So there's a few other really, really cool items from Canoe Club. And what I'm gonna show you guys now are the Magazines, man. So the magazines that I want to show you are, what are they, Drew? What are they, huh? I'm trying to organize myself, hold on. So I ordered a few magazines from Canoe Club, right? So this, these are all from Lightning, I believe, and this is pretty heavy in my hand. I need to work out. Um, they're all from Lightning, and so they just kind of showcase different art. They showcase different things that you'd want to see as a creative who's trying to continuously find references to help enrich their kind of creative energy. These are really, really dope items for that. So the first one I'll show you is a plant sort of magazine, and it has, and Lauren, as you know, Lauren and I love plant shops. We love going to plant shops. I'll make sure to show you guys great B-roll of this. Um, but it has a ton of just different references and images of different types of plants different types of uh, you know, snake plants, you have bonsais, you have uh, so, mu so much stuff in here, man. Um, different watering cans, et cetera, et cetera. So this would be a really fun look through and read. Um, I wish I understood everything that was on from a text standpoint, but maybe I'll learn a little bit and uh, do those kind of things. So yeah, first we have the plant one. Next, I picked up two that basically are highlighting different garments. And so we can open this up like that. 
These are pretty heavy. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like thick, thick, thick books. Um, so, the first one I'm gonna show you guys is this one, which is vintage sweatshirts. The camera loves to focus on me, but vintage sweatshirts is this one. And like I said, for someone who owns a brand, has a brand, who's trying to just continue to push the envelope for creativity for their brand, like there are so many interesting references, so many interesting techniques that I feel like I can draw inspiration from. And you know, because these are vintage, a lot of times they're not in use as much as what you see typically on Instagram and whatnot. This is, I'm telling you, I feel like this is a secret, a key I'm giving away if you're someone who likes to create things, to be able to find out about different garments and different designs and whatnot. Um, this one this one is pretty thick, and these are all uh, lightning archives, or these are all lightning magazines, right? Really, really beautiful stuff, if you ask me. The last one I wanna show you guys, let's look at that. The last one I sh wanna show you is the Vintage Champion magazine, or, uh, publication. So this is the Vintage Champion one. Obviously, Champion has a very, very long and rich history in garmentry. The back is pretty cool. All the different tags as well are on there. So for this one, kind of the same as the other one, as the Vintage Sweatshirts one, you're going to get a lot of just different garments that Champion used to make. And obviously, Champion has been around and made, made sportswear, uh, has made a little bit of loungewear, has made a lot of just different things that as a consumer of it, like you don't necessarily even understand the history all the way, but as you kind of peel back that onion a little bit, you get to see a lot, lot more. So these are two, three magazines, excuse me, that I can't wait to actually dive into, learn more about, and just uh, enrich my knowledge and enrich my visual prowess as, as maybe they would say in like Naruto or something like that. I can't believe I just said visual prowess. <laughs> increase my visual prowess guys but anyways you know i'll definitely be reading those looking at those and trying to learn and absorb as much information as i can for myself personally as someone who loves clothing and for my brand so all right last from canoe club one of the things i'm also trying to just learn more about and one of the things canoe club offers in abundance is the ability to learn about indigo dyeing so this is an indigo dyeing kit and it's really, really cool. I'm getting a lot of glare. Indigo dyeing kit. It's really, really cool. What, what am I trying to say again? I hate when this happens, guys. I thought this would be something really, really cool to pick up as just like a Saturday project. Something that I can just dabble in, do a little bit of indigo dyeing on some fabric, learn a little bit about it. Even, even Canoe Club just did a video about how to use this indigo dye, this specific like kit. So I'm gonna definitely be watching that and trying to learn how to do it myself. This kind of stuff for me, like if you're a fashion person, if you like these kind of items or products, and I feel like Canoe Club offers it in abundance. They're excellent at it. They have their own YouTube channel. They do all these things that are really, really cool. And for me, like they're in my backyard. So why would I not, you know, dabble with it? I'm not gonna open this up just yet because I want to learn more about it. On the back, it says Yamamoto or Yamoto, excuse me. Yamoto indigo is a Japanese natural blend indigo powder dye. Easy to use. Yamoto dye or Yamoto indigo only needs water. No heating or fermentation is necessary. It dyes natural uh, materials such as cotton, linen, silk, leather, wood, and washi paper into a vibrant indigo blue. And I'll make sure to show you guys this is exactly what I was reading. So, yeah, cool stuff from canoe club i'm really really happy that i picked these things up and shout out to the, the team over at canoe club the interview was super dope i mean come on come on that thing was that thing was fire so yeah let's move on all right let's put some of these items back on the table because these are still good move this one over here so the next brand i want to talk to you guys about is one of the two uk brands that i feel like are kind of underground i would give them that title they're a little bit underground not a lot of people know about them and the first one is shea Rood. this is the packaging that came in and shea Rood is what i would like to call a luxury british garment brand and it's kind of weird a luxury brand from britain is what i would say right kind of in the same vein as like a cole buxton or in the same vein as a um maybe a represent or something like that those that's what the brand reminds me of you have really really nice unbagging experience it feels very premium to unbag and then the garment feels super heavy and this is their zip up man so this is just their baseline zip up it's made of 100 percent organic loop back cotton you have the ykk zippers on the front you have kind of an elongated drawstring 
and I'll make sure to show you guys what this looks like on body as well. Very, very heavyweight garment. I mean, this is feels quality. You feel the fact that they really are a luxury brand. You have that made in London tag. Let's see if we can get to focus. There it is. I don't, I don't have any zip ups in my entire wardrobe. So this is going to be really perfect. One of my favorite hits also is this kind of back tab that has the name of the brand pronounced it rude. And then you also have it down here. Really great stuff from the brand. Focus up camera. There it is. Unbelievable stuff from the brand. Really, really nice. Heavyweight. Love the coloring on it. Simple gray. Could even wear it with the 992s that I just got. So this is what it looks like on body. I love the fit of this zip up. Unbelievable. I, I have to give my credit to Shea Rude and the team. It is unbelievable what some, some of these smaller brands, what they're doing. And this is one from the UK and one that's not getting the attention it deserves. That's really in the same vein as, you know, what a Cole Buxton does. Kind of gives me Fear of God vibes a little bit. Super sweet, super sweet, man. Shout out to the team over at Shea Rude incredible piece i i'm so thankful for you guys and i can't wait to wear this a ton a ton a ton probably even a little bit in the summertime it's pretty heavyweight but i'll wear it in the summertime definitely in the fall definitely in the winter i'm super excited about this one man it's super dope the next uk brand i want to show you guys about is i'm pretty sure i'm pronouncing this correct the um painters club and my man bradley kirkham did a fantastic job a fantastic job with this hoodie. I'm a sucker for a good hoodie. Let's get this thing opened up so I can show you guys. Another, oh, something fell out. Another smaller brand, once again, you guys, the um, Painters Club. This is the card I just, that just fell out. Let's get it to focus. I mean, boom. So this is super nice. And then the hoodie, man. It says Gallery of Archive Arts on the front. This thing is just so cool. With the paint splatters on there, you got you kind of have a vintage, you have vintage text over the, the middle of it. That arch text is kind of vintage inspired. You have the paint splatters, like I just mentioned, very heavyweight, the color of the hoodie. I think, did they remove the drawstrings or they, they there might have been those drawstrings and they just kind of distressed this part, the kind of beginning of the hood of of the hoodie and the back too I, I don't really have many hoodies like this and this one stood out to me and kind of spoke to me very very dope just very cool so i had a chance to talk with bradley about the brand a little bit i asked him a few questions about it just so i could you know hear his perspective on why he started those kind of things get his background a little bit and this is what he basically told me in dm he said when he was young he did a lot of drawing he did a lot of art and as you can see, wearing it on my body right now, it fits immaculately. You can te definitely tell that this is an artist's perspective on, you know, just a hoodie, right? He loves painting. He loves being able to do those sort of things. And with the splatters and the splodges for him, he just thought it would be a nice addition and make each hoodie one of one in the sense that he's not going to be able to replicate the exact same paint patterns on the hoodie. I think it's really, really dope. Kind of gives me an ore vibe, if, you, if, I'm, if I'm being quite honest, but I still love the way it looks, all right? All right, on to the next one. So, so for those who don't know, I actually had a chance to go to San Francisco. I was there doing some business with Lauren and one of the places that we went to on one of the evenings we were in San Francisco was this sushi place named San Reiku or San Reiku, San Reiku. And in the sushi store, they had uh, fantastic sushi, but in the store, they had all these kind of posters and memorabilia of the shop. And one of the things that I saw on the wall was this incredibly dope graphic t-shirt and they had sold them before it was actually for their 30th anniversary in 2019 but they didn't have any more left when i was there obviously I'm, I'm there in 2021 they didn't have any more left and they only had the one that was in the poster and so i it was like you guys i have to have this i have to have this t-shirt it is so dope and so take a look at this this is the san reiku i can't even see the camera uh, this is the San Reiku Sushi Shop in San Francisco, kind of near Knob Hill. Uh, 
memorabilia or kind of shop or I don't know. This is their t-shirt. That's all I'm trying to say. This is their t-shirt. And it's unbelievable the graphic on there. I mean, look at this. I know that not many people have this. It was special to me because I ate at their sushi shop. It was unbelievably good sushi as it should be in San Francisco. The graphic is just fire, man. It's, a, it's an extra large HD Fruit of the Loom cotton shirt. So, I mean, come on. This is just unbelievable it was literally in the poster on the shop and i walked in there and i said nah i need i need that i need that <laughs> so and they were really nice about it and if anybody at san reiku happens to to watch this video i'm so thankful for you guys for letting me purchase this it is an unbelievable kind of story that i feel like lauren and i will just laugh about because i was pretty adamant about getting this shirt and uh the fact that i was able to get it is a testament to my fact that i have an obsession <laughs> So hopefully, when I make it back out to SF, I'll wear this shirt, go back to San Reku. They'll be like, oh wow. They'll think I'm uh, from San Francisco, but I'm not. <laughs> Staying on topic with the shirts, let's look at some of the, these are the Obra shirts that I got. And if you guys don't know Obra, it's basically Jonathan Rodriguez's brand, Marketplace. And he specializes, I feel like his specialty is in bootleg sneakers or shoes right so he just did the mars yards which are really cool i'll show those on the screen and he also has a marketplace where he sells different t-shirts and like i was saying in the summertime you really need in my opinion you need a nice graphic tee i'll show this one first i haven't even looked at this yet guys so this says the people's market oh yeah this is so dope kind of in the same vein as you know my you know my little shirt for edward joiner so this is the back of it right and it says the people's market this is the front it says om for obra just clean simple nice little shirt really dope jonathan rodriguez does fantastic stuff and i'm really really happy to have connected with him on the podcast if you haven't listened to the to my podcast the beyond the government podcast check it out i had jonathan on to talk about how it's like creating bootlegs in 2021 because there's always been bootlegs and then he also threw in an extra uh, graphic shirt for me this is one with the orange on it it's kind of like a bronco shirt honestly pretty cool the other one is definitely my favorite but yeah like i was saying check out the podcast him he goes pretty in depth and if you haven't checked out the podcast we're about to start season two so i'm super excited about that clothes on clothes on clothes on clothes man thank you to obra what are we gonna do next is the question this does not need to be up here anymore Next, what we'll do is the Sabrina Claudio tee. And if you guys don't know, and I'm sorry to my girlfriend Lauren, if you guys don't know, my like crush, like favorite musician crush, and one of my favorite kind of music artists is Sabrina Claudio. And this is her. So this is, she, she did like a, a live concert because of COVID, she couldn't do an actual concert and she released some t-shirts. And so this is like a vintage tea whatever that she kind of released that's you know not the best quality in the world but it has sabrina on there and so i decided to support her she's like my age 22 23 and so i love her music it's kind of like r b with a little bit of latin influence with a little bit of pop so yeah i love sabrina claudio had to pick this one up you gotta have a lot of selection of teas because you know with white tees, sometimes you get a little bit of, you know, staining under the armpits. So you gotta make sure you have ample white tees for the summertime. Yeah, this is a really beautiful one. On um, body, looks even better. It's just a simple t-shirt. If you know about Sabrina Claudio, comment down below your, your favorite song from her. If you're a guy or a girl, I love her music. Love her music, so yeah. There's that. Whole lot of t-shirts for the summertime and that I'll be wearing, obviously, it's hot. It's like 90 degrees here. Not today, I'm wearing a sweatshirt, it's not too hot, but when it gets 90 degrees, you gotta have a t-shirt. You gotta have a nice pair of, you know, baggies on. That's all you need to wear when it's that hot. <laughs> I don't think it would be a pickups video if I didn't talk about M.A. Leon Door, right? So I picked up a tote bag from M.A. Leon Door, and it is part of their kind of Cafe Leon Door merchandise products. So if you've been following the brand, one of the things they did recently was they kind of just made some items for the cafe. I haven't looked at this as closely either. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, so you have the cafe right there. I know a lot of people who are from New York go to New York, just go to the cafe to take those iconic IG pics. I 
don't have the ability to go to New York right now. And maybe I was hoping to maybe go, but I probably won't go this year. But this is a really simple, dope tote bag. You know I love tote bags. ALD's prices for a tote bag are a little bit high, right? Um, let's see if we can get this to come to fit full form. They're a little bit high, but I said to myself, you know, I, I support ALD, I love the brand. This is a really clean tote, really sturdy, rugged, and I always am impressed with the artwork. Always, always, always impressed with the artwork that ALD does. So, and, but I don't know if I recommend buying, spending this much on a tote bag. We, my brand, Edward Joyner, we're gonna be coming out with new tote bags in August, I believe. So by August, we'll have our tote bags, and they'll be organic cotton, and they'll be, uh, much cheaper than what ALD has to offer. But ALD can price that premium because you know they have a strong brand. And so that's what I'm trying to get with Edward Joyner as well, a strong brand, so cool. All right, that's enough babbling. Funny story, I almost worked at ALD um, end of 2019, which is crazy. Maybe I'll tell you guys that story one day. Let me know if you wanna hear that story. If ALD ever sees this video, I love the brand, hit your boy up. <laughs> okay, so my love for 501s and Levi's grows every single day. And as you guys know, I'm a 501 fanatic, one of my favorite pants. We have two pairs of 501s right here. Let's start with this one. This is the one I receive first. This is a green garment dyed pair of 501s from the Amazonians and boom these are them and I kind of pulled the trigger on these because I wanted to see what they look like in person green pants sometimes can be pretty difficult to pull off I'm not sure if I can even pull these off you guys you know you have a uh, the typical button flies with the 501 you have everything that you typically get with a pair of 501s right except for the fact that they're garment dyed green I mean this is they're pretty cool not gonna lie there's they, there can be a lot of character added to these and the more you wear them maybe you get some interesting fading and things like that obviously they aren't selvage denims and, and things like that but I'm pretty interested in just Levi's and this is a pair that I picked up and I wanted to see and I did it. I just did it like Nike said it. <laughs> but these are really cool. Styling wise, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna style these. I really don't know. I'll show you guys what they look like on body. I don't know how I'm gonna style them. And if you guys have any ideas or any thoughts, let me know down in the comment section. Do you, would you, how would you style this? Like just like any other you know, blue pair of jeans, like regular denim pair of jeans. I don't know. Don Green do a little bit of patchwork on these as well um, because he's excellent at that. Let's take a look at the brown pair. Wow. Wow. These are interesting. So I thought they'd be a little bit more chocolatey, but they're a little bit more red. Huh, these have like a redness to them. I don't know if you guys are seeing it through the camera. I don't know if you guys see it as more red. Maybe it's my eyes, but I see it as more like a, like red or like a wine color than like I do brown. It's more red to me, I don't know. So I thought these were brown. These are the same measurements as the green ones. I think these are gonna be a little bit easier to style. Brown is just a little bit more classy. Green really pops and stands out, but I love green. I have a lot of green pants, and I think the texture of a green denim pant is fun, and I think the texture of a brown denim pant is really fun. So this is a really fantastic jean, in my opinion. These go quickly. When I saw this on Amazon, and sometimes I scour Amazon, sometimes I scour Levi's, sometimes I look on Grailed, but what I like about Amazon is that I usually can find a pair that is not, I can find my exact size. I can also get it relatively quickly. And then if I have any issues, I know I can return it. That's what I like about it. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, that's just what I like. So there are these, and these will be linked down below with the other ones and how they look on body. Let's see how they look on body. Okay, on body, okay. I, I can maybe work with these, maybe. I like these. It's, it's tough for me to know how exactly I'll style them once again, but the fit of them is really nice and I definitely like these pants, so. Man, how many minutes in are we to this video? We're almost done, we're almost done. Why did I just fold it like that? Gotta take care of your clothes, man. Like I said, how to take care of your clothes video. You gotta take care of them. So, cool. We are down to the final two items. Let's talk about one of my new favorite pants right now. The Wrangler Rancher is kind of like a revolutionary pant for me. As of right now, I'm mostly wearing Levi 501s and Dickies 874s when I wear pants, right? I wear shorts, I'm wearing like these Porter James shorts or I'm wearing my EJ Summer Series shorts. But when it comes to pants, there's something really special about a Wrangler Rancher. 
And I picked up another pair of Wrangler Ranchers because I got the wrong size. And I could only, I, I wasn't gonna keep, you know, two brown pairs if you'd seen my other video. But I picked up another pair of Ranchers. And these are a grayish pair that I feel like, once again, will look really beautiful. You have that classic pleat down the middle. And I think that what makes these pants awesome as well is the flare that they provide towards the bottom of the, of the pant. How they flare and taper out. So, so beautiful at how they do that. And this to me, like, it really is rivaling some of the, the pants that I own. And I know this is like very, very, you know, simplistic and, and you know, uh, relatively cheap workwear that you can buy, but it's made so well in my opinion. So that's why I gravitate towards it. And it's just, I don't know, it's just buttery. Like the way that the pants fall, the way they look, the way they look with different shoes, et cetera, et cetera. Like these could pair with these relatively easily. They might look a little bit weird, you know, cause it's a flare out, but it's, it might, it might go, you never know. So I style things in the way that I feel like are most appropriate. This kind of is what I'm thinking about right now. In the future, hopefully I can get some boots, like I said, because I feel like boots would just, Oh man, that would just make, pull everything together when it comes to the Wrangler Rancher dress jean. So for these, you're gonna wanna go three sizes up in the waist. Three sizes up in the waist and you'll be fine. Like I said in my other videos on body, these are perfect because I know my size. If you know your size, then you know how to get the, you know how to find the clothes that fit you the best if you know your size, right? You know how to get everything done in a proper way. If you know your size so make sure to get your size go three sizes up in the waist for the ranchers all right last but not least obviously you guys probably understand that the more the more my channel grows the more people reach out and want to do partner work and things like that and a lot of times i say no 99 percent of the time i say no and this brand earth mode wanted to send me some hemp socks and i said you know what I, I like socks, I like having good socks, and, and hemp socks are a little bit more sustainable than just your traditional sock. They have a naturally antibacterial, they're breathable, and they're sustainable. And so let's take a look at these. These, this, these are the Earth Mode Organic Hemp Socks, right? These are what they look like. Oh my God, these are really, really soft. Really, really soft. And so they're just a clean sock. Like, oftentimes people ask me what socks I'm wearing with my loafers and things. This, to me, is like a perfect sock to wear with loafers, perfect sock to wear with anything sneakers as well that just kind of doesn't have a lot of branding but is sustainable is reliable and looks good too there's this color as well i don't actually have this kind of color of sock this is more like a bluish grayish sock really really cool organic hemp is uh whatever your thoughts on hemp are it's it's, it's really good for the environment and then lastly they sent me these straws i believe these are straws yeah these are bamboo straws so let me show you guys these the thing that's cool about bamboo straws is that you can reuse them. Let's see if I can get this to focus on the straw. It's gonna be tough. All right, well, anyways, let me, how do I, I'm a YouTuber, right? How do I get it to do it? Right there, is that how I do it? Yeah, see, I know what I'm doing. So these right here are the, or, not organic, these are bamboo straws. So in a replacement of plastic straws, you can get or, organic straws. Just a nice little lifestyle product that Earth Mode wanted to provide me. Definitely will be using these and definitely love sustainable brands trying to make it happen for themselves. Try to support some of these smaller brands, especially ones that are doing it for the environment and doing it for great causes. Can't beat that. And these are like relatively, these are pretty cheap, relatively inexpensive. So I think these are like pretty sure five to $10 for maybe one pair. And then they have packs of them, so. And just like that, the bench has been cleared off. Ah, that was so much talking. <laughs> Did you enjoyed today's video, my guess is that we're around 25 to 30 minutes for the video. So wait, let me get you guys closer because I have no need to showcase an empty desk or... Uh, I'm at a loss of words today, everyone. Is it, what is this called? This is, this is a bench? A desk? A, a desk? <laughs> like I said earlier, these are videos that I love to create because as someone who watches a ton of YouTube videos, this is kind of what I would love to see out of a creator. So that's the way I approach videos. I try to create content for you guys that I feel like is dynamic, it's interesting, and it also implies some of the things that you guys love, like the pickups element, the interview element, and the kind of vlog element. I know a lot of people love those kind of things. Comment down below what other types of videos you'd be interested in me doing. I'm definitely gonna be doing a comparison between the 874 
Explorers and the Wrangler Rancher. I still have to compare the docks to the GH Bass Region Loafers. So those two are, those are two videos. Someone had mentioned doing a pant collection. I just picked up three more pants um, to my collection. I have a lot of different ideas. And like I said, there will be a lot of opportunities as well for Canoe Club in the future. So a ton of stuff, but I would love to hear what you think. Comment down below. Now, if you made it this far in the video and are not subscribed, you made it this far for a reason. I know you want to subscribe to this video. And if you are subscribed, come on, give me a fist bump, bro. Thank you. I appreciate you. I really do. If you aren't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. I love having new people enter into the community. I would love to have you be a part of the community. I'm posting content a lot. I try to do two times a week. I guarantee I can do one time a week. So subscribe to the channel, fashion content, sneakers, culture, art, all those things and more are on this channel. Welcome. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so awkward today. <laughs> As always, I'm spreading peace, love and positivity in 2021. So that means I'm spreading peace, love and positivity to you. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Also, shout out to all these fantastic, wonderful brands. From Canoe Club to Obra to Shea Rude to uh, Om Painters Club, my brand, all these brands. You know, Earth, this one right here, the Hemp Socks, Earth Mode. All of you guys are doing fantastic work. And I know a lot of people reach out and are wondering, you know, how can I maybe... Um, send some stuff to me for me to review it and things like that. I can't say yes to everyone. So understand that. Also understand that even if I say no, you're still doing fantastic work, man. So continue to do what you do. And, uh, my name is Drew. What to do? And, uh, you rolling with the crew and, uh, we better go <laughs> anyways. <laughs> Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. It was a fun one. Oh, it's literally stuck in my shirt. There we go. <sighs> Have a great rest of your day, weekend, week, life. Subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.